Hello, hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some cards for this week ahead. That's the 10th, Monday the 10th, till a Sunday the 16th of February. I keep saying January. I keep wanting to say I even started writing January when I was doing the dates because it just doesn't feel like February yet <laughs> but we're getting into it so I've just got to I've just got to align with February <laughs> so I want to welcome my Temple of Balance patrons my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website thank you so much for your support your support helps me be able to do these videos and do my work and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're about to turn 15 actually on the 25th of February. So that will be exciting. Thank you. So I'm away at the moment. I'm at Devonport, which is at the north side of Tasmania. It's where the ferry comes in from Melbourne. If you come over on the ferry, uh, if you want to bring your car or your caravan, uh, you can only get to Tasmania into this port. So. I'm here at the moment just spending a few hours and um, I forgot to bring my normal deck of cards. So for those of you who like me using my combined deck, that's what I'll be doing. So if you hopefully you won't get too confused, but we've got two decks of cards here. I've got my Speed of Light Oracle and my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. And I'll be using these combined. They've been made to be the same size, so they fit together. We've got 110 cards in this deck and I'll be using this deck to look for the best card for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then the best card for the theme for those particular days. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So just take on board what feels right, what resonates, what makes sense to you, what fits into your life easily and just let the rest go. So if it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't matter. It may be guidance that someone else needs. So uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, that's probably all I need to say. I'm going to pause the video and set up my cardboard, my cardboard, my board for my cards and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle these cards and I'm looking for the best cards for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let me turn this so I can see what's in the shot. Uh, Saturday and Sunday and the theme. So I'm holding the intention to look for the best cards that are most the, they're going to be the most helpful for the majority of us. Uh, for this week ahead from today till a Sunday So let's see I trust that the the best cards will find their way to the top of the deck based on the way that I choose my cards So nice big breath All right, the best cards for this week are These so we're going to have a mix of different types of cards here Let me just I've got this board balanced against a bush <laughs> while I'm out here on location. <laughs> okay. So we've got Saturdays, Sundays, and the theme. So as you can see, the Animal Kingdom Oracle cards are hot. Hot, hot, hot. So we're, let's start by turning over Monday's card. This is today, Monday the 10th of February. And we have card 38 called Ammonite. And it says clearing private issues. So this is about looking at the things that we've been keeping private on Monday. These may be our own private issues, our own private wounds, our private thoughts on things. Things that we have not necessarily kept secret, but have kept private. Um, and looking at these and allowing ourselves to clear Yeah, sorry, there's people around here everywhere. So just allowing us to clear uh, You know giving ourselves permission to clear those private issues and wounds Basically, this is about 
we might have a hard shell around us about something that we've been dealing with personally or taking personally and privately. So we need to think about breaking down that shell on Monday and uh, let our wounds out so that they don't haunt us, if you like, any longer. We can, just because we're clearing these private issues doesn't mean we need to um, even publicise them or, you know, if we want to keep them private, we can. So that's Monday. There's a sense of keeping private. On Tuesday, Tuesday we have the stag, card 49, and it says lost help, guide, path and discouraged. So this, there's a feeling here on Tuesday that some of us may feel a bit off track. We may feel a bit lost, a bit sad, a bit discouraged about our path. We might think that we've actually taken the wrong path and we're off track. We've taken a wrong turn, we might think. But in truth, we haven't. But our mind might make us think that we have. So what we need to do is just get our mind on board and remind ourselves that we actually can't be off our path because it's always under our feet. <laughs> our path can never be anywhere else. So we may feel a bit lost or discouraged from our path on Tuesday and what we're being guided to do is use our mind to help us get back on a track. So that's interesting. Let's look at Wednesday. Okay, we have a shift on Wednesday. We've got card one, the stallion. And the stallion says to untie yourself. So it's time to, if we haven't been facing our private issues, if we've been holding on to them, if we've been feeling lost and off track and things haven't been just don't feel like they're flowing or we feel like we've done something wrong on our path this is probably going to feel a bit heavy uh, we do have the opportunity to break down the shell to get into a, a clearer mindset about being on path but Wednesday there feels to be a breath of fresh air as the stallion reminds us to untie ourselves from our personal and our mental issues especially in regards to our life's path and untie ourselves from the stables. This is about setting our wild spirit free. Letting our wild spirit be free again. There's movement, there's action in this, but we have to take the uh, we have to take the reins back really. We have to step back in charge and um, untie ourselves from the things that are holding us back. Let's look at Thursday. Oh, nice. Thursday we have the sea eagle. This is not a seagull. <laughs> in Australia at least, and probably other countries too, there are things called a sea eagle. And in Australia, or at least here in Tasmania, we have a white-bellied sea eagle. And this is card 29, and it says reconnection. So Thursday is very favourable for reconnecting with the things that are important to us. Reconnecting with our balance and knowing where we're going again. We might not know where we're going on Tuesday and we might not know where we're going on Monday. We might start getting to know where we're going again on Wednesday, but there is a strong sense of knowing here, of holding our focus, holding our vision and going for it. There's a feeling of reconnection, which would only come up if we've been feeling disconnected. So consider where you've been feeling disconnected on Thursday and how you can plug back in and reconnect with what's important to you in your life on friday we have a speed of light oracle and it's expression card 31 that says communication listen i just was making sure i had record on <laughs> listen share deliver and trust so this is important there's something probably on friday that we need to get off our chest something we need to say and a deep level of expression we might find that we have to really speak up from our heart and from the depths of how we feel but it's not just about speaking up it's also about really listening to what other people are saying and what other people are sharing and to uh, trust in the words that we speak and the words that others speak even if they confront us so let's trust in the words that need to be delivered on Friday now this is Saturday. Actually, Friday is the first day of our retreat. So Saturday will be the second day, and it's giraffe. This giraffe's been coming up a lot. It's card 33, and it says to look at things differently. So it's about our perspective, our perception on things. It's about our vision of our future, our vision and how we're seeing the world, how we're seeing things. And we're being encouraged to stretch our neck out on Saturday stretch our neck out we might be 
a challenge to try something new. So let's try that something new and see what we can discover about ourselves from it. This is Sunday's card. Sunday the... Oh, I haven't been saying the dates, have I? Sorry. Sunday the 16th. This is the bear. I love the bear card 43. He says to move out of the rut. So, you know, sometimes we need our private time to heal, to reassess, to mend and just catch our breath and just because we need it. Sometimes we just need it and this is not a rut feeling. This is just a private space we need to contemplate and heal and whatever we might be doing. But there's sometimes our private time turns into a rut because we might be comfortable there because we might, it sort of draws me back to the stag, where we might feel um, like this is our safe place, this is what we have to do, this is what we have to think. But it might not be the case. So Bear is reminding us to take steps now to move out of the rut, to stop holding ourselves back and start stepping out into the world. There's a feeling here of coming out of hiding on Sunday, letting who we really are peek out and be revealed. So there is a general sense here, a general sense here of maybe feeling a bit alone or a bit isolated and doing things on our own. There's a feeling I'm just seeing all these things as very separate at the moment. Um, so, you know, let's be careful that we're not losing ourselves by thinking the worst or taking things too personally. Let's take the reins back. Let's reconnect. Let's speak up if we need to speak up. Let's be courageous and, and look at looking thing, at things differently. And let's take a step to move out of hiding. Now our theme card will bring all these days together and help us see the bigger picture. Ah, it's the cheetah. Card four. four. <laughs> and it says to focus on your strengths. So the cheetah is reminding us to focus on the things that are working. The things that are working this week. Let's not invest too much time wallowing or feeling sad or down about the things that aren't working. Sometimes we need to choose to look at the glass half full rather than the glass half empty. How we perceive and look at things is going to have a huge impact on how our days and our week and our months and which turn into years and decades, how they actually look. So the cheat is very much about focusing on our strengths, focusing on the glass half full and looking at the things that are working. And then we can bring those strengths and the things that are working, we can use those to help strengthen the things that may not be. So this feels like a very personal week this week. There's lots of personal stuff to focus on and do and think about and uh, let's see how things unfold. Okay, so there you have it, my friends. We are in for an interesting week. And there feels to be, to me, just a slight disjointed energy, potentially. So we may uh, need to really stay attentive, to stay focused, to stay clear, and not overcomplicate things. Don't overwhelm things that stay organized, so we don't let things bank up and build up and create more stress. Um, there are opportunities, all of these energies and all of these cards I'm looking down at my board um, they'd all have positive qualities but there is just a little feeling here that things may feel a little bit um, heavy or a little bit unsettling but there are opportunities for us to break down our shell that we might be hiding behind to get back in charge of our or get back on track by getting our mind on track because our path is always under our feet so if our path's always under our feet, why do we think that our path's way over there or we've taken a wrong turn? It's our mind that makes us think that we're off track or have gone astray, but we haven't. So we just need to get our mind now back into our body so we can get back on track. This can be really motivating. The stallion is a very motivating card. So there's a lot of energy about untying ourselves and getting back on track there, reconnecting, expressing ourselves, trusting, in what we have to say, what we're hearing, and taking steps to get out of the rut. So there is great positivity in this, but it will depend how you and how we see it. So let's um, see it for what it is, let's see what unfolds, but let's also make an effort not to get down in the dumps too much this week. So 
I trust this resonates and supports you and thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to and if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. I think I'm entertaining <laughs> the locals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I've had no one beat their horn on the way past yet uh, so thank you so much for connecting uh, I recommend that you come and reconnect with this recording throughout the week like I said last week I like to pop in on Thursdays and Saturdays just to align myself with the guidance and remind myself what came through and to check how things are sort of going um, so that's really handy to do. If you want to learn more about my cards or my work, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. Um, I've got lots of resources on my website. I've got pendants. Oh, this one's hiding. I've got pendants. This one's mine. <laughs> but I have got other ones um, similar. We've got ceramics. I've got card decks, books, meditations. We've got e-courses, healing events. Um, Oh, loads of stuff, artwork, supportive services, lots of stuff that I do through Temple of Balance and have built for the last 15 years. So if you want to have a look, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. Have a fantastic week ahead. Uh, I think I'll be scheduling next week, the next week's video, um, uh, scheduling that in advance. So it will still come up even though I'll be hosting the retreat. So keep an eye out for that, but it will happen without me around <laughs> um, because I can schedule them, which is a great uh, efficiency tool for me, which means I can pre-record things and get them up so you can still connect with them. So keep an eye out for that and have a great week. I'll see you again soon. Bye.